Welcome to the big blue house. Shit, no, that's not what this is. I, sorry, that, that was a very popular children's show from my childhood. I, from Jim Henson television, it was a giant bear in a big blue house. I loved it a lot. That's my name is Mintunist. We're here. Yeah, you remember Bear in the Big Blue House? I just remember, the, I remember your, the description you gave me rem made me remember it, but before that I didn't for a second. Anyways, yeah. Oh, hi, hi. Must have been hot as hell in that costume. Hi, hi Mintunist, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Chris Elodian. We are here. Welcome, friends. Team Doe Circuit Team Races Glentendo Circuit every single Tuesday. There are the rules over here on the left. Working out some stuff a little bit different today. We've been, uh, Chris has been hard at work behind the scenes for some new stuff for the Glentendo Circuits as well as for the Team Doe Circuit as well. Uh, not to necessarily, um, spoil anything. I mean, as Cuneo Spoil finishes it. fourth in his first race here. Sp spoiler alert. Spoiler. This is looking, uh, yes, spoilers. Cover your ears. Uh, this is looking like it very well might be our final team dose circuit. <gasps> but, but, hold it, just hold Say on it to your so butts. Say it so Not yeah. the team dose circuit. I love the team dose circuit. <laughs> what, is there, is there some good news to be had here? No. Oh, it's just dead. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's just dead. No, my friends, of course, we are just getting up some prime buffoonery and memery up here. We are replacing it with a battle circuit. That is right, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's very own battle <gasps> mode, which comes in five different specialty, uh, five different specialty modes. Don't remember what all of them are. There's Balloon Battle, there's Shine Thief, there's, uh, crap, what are the other ones? I don't, I don't uh, know at all. I just bomb, remember. Bomb, bomb, bomb Blast. I remember Bomb, oh, Bomb Blast. That's the one where you just chuck bomb bombs at each other for points. And then there's two other ones. We're going to be rotating through those for Tuesdays because we noticed the Team Go Circuit They've been getting a lot less entrance. We stale. talk about it every week. They're like, it's grown to be stale. As Moldy Chris bread. Said. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's 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 sort of worn out its charm, especially because the Glintendo, like the, the free for all circuits. And I hate that I have to differentiate between the two, so I'll look forward to not having to do that anymore. But the Sunday circuits pop off so hard, and then Tuesday is like it's like a really bad hangover, and I'm sort of just like over it. <laughs> Personally, and I know Glenn is too, because you talk to him, I talk to him, and yeah, battle mode is going to be the result, and he's got that all figured out. Meanwhile, uh, the aesthetics, like as far as graphics go, uh, the way the stream looks, this is going to be the last time it looks like this. I, I actually already have the overlays done already. Uh, I just had, I didn't have a chance to put them into OBS, so I'm going to be working on that going into Sunday. So we'll have a like, uh, brand new. Glintendo circuit all around between uh, the Sundays having a new look and then Tuesdays being battle mode. So uh, kind of exciting, exciting time to be a Glintendo circuit fan. Yeah, honestly, it is. There's some big changes happening, some big, if not perfectly timed ones, I would say. I mean, because what we got right here to put to you, put in perspective for you guys, this Team Go circuit has a lot less entrance than they normally have. They've very much been declining in entrance as the, you know, the entrance for the, uh, Glintendo circuits on Sundays have either been going up or remaining around that same good 38 whatever mark, 35, around that whole 30 range really. And as well as to put in perspective for why, you know, we think it's time to switch it up, uh, Kunio is our only streamer for today. Yeah, that's it. That's all he we got. is the only one. I don't remember the last time this has ever really we happened. we had one streamer. Actually, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure if it ever really happened. I think we've always had two, except for there was one time where we had two, and one of them was really laggy. Uh, aside from that, we've mostly always hit at least two because, I mean, you know how we do it around here? We do the multi-screen share, and we know this game doesn't have a spectator mode. That's not news to anyone who watches the circuit or plays this game. So... Yeah, we've been making it work though. So today, uh, just in time, I feel like Glintendo Circuit, or Team Doe Circuit, I should say, that's technically what Tuesdays are called, uh, has sort of like wobbled over the finish line or will be wobbling over the finish line today. Uh, as you mentioned, turnout's a little bit modest. I think it's, the last I looked, which was a few minutes ago now, was 10 entrants. But at least it's 5v5, which, which is the unusual. Usually these things are like, really top heavy one way or the other where it's just like a lot of people on blue or a lot of people on red and uh not the case this week so at least for the last one we get to see a little bit of a what might be a balanced race even though fate censored and if you've been watching the past couple weeks you know fate is basically uh will probably win today uh he plays waluigi he's really good at the game and he's only answered a couple times and i think he's gotten like i think he's won and probably gotten second or I don't know. He's, he's done really well. I'll have to look at the results to specify on that. But 
There we go, back to back fourth places for Cunio, and we can see if Fate won this race, because it's very possible he did. He did not, looks like Liam did. Fate's sitting in third, so go Team Red. Uh, I actually think that the scores are actually kind of neck and neck for Red and Blue today, which, like I said, pleasant surprise. Mm, I can't think of very much of a better way to send off the Team Go circuit than by having our final stream for it be one streamer as well as having it be a close uh, 2v2 race. Looking like 12 entrants yeah, 12 right entrance. now. So that's that's yeah. uh, two more than than before. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, <laughs> yay. Yay. And yeah, oh, there's... come on. Somebody from Blue just had to. <laughs> oh, this is the thing, right? So, even... yeah, this is what happens. And, 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 and I advertise this. I say join any time. Open all. Mostly because the original intention was just getting people to play. But now that we have so many people playing, um, you know, it, it, it can just get thrown off balance, as you see here. And it's all by good people, too, because it looks like Ursa Major just joined in. And we always know Ursa Major is finishing, like, top eight pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, with that in mind, uh, mm -hmm. you never know if someone joins in red. And even at this point, it's only two people off this time. A lot of times, it's, like, five people off. Like, you'll see, like, 15 versus 10 or something like that. Or, like, 20 versus 5. And you're like, oh, cool because the points just go out of control. And that's why we started to do the average scores. That was the, the big solution we came up with at first for these team go circuits is like, uh, you know, what happens when the team goes lopsided? Oh, I know, we'll just get average scores. But like, that doesn't really work the best either because a lot of times, uh, you know, someone might drop early or start late and there's like, ah, it's just red versus blue, what does it matter? And then, you know, that, that screws up the averages too. That it does, my friend, that it does. As well as, you know, people just, yeah, you know, I mean, there was no real set thing. Like, the, the, the Team Go Circuit was always a real casual thing since the beginning because, I mean, originally, and I'll say this to anybody who might be new to, to the Glantendo Circuits, which wouldn't surprise me. I mean, these tournaments are growing all the time. Yeah. Uh, is that these tournaments did used to be themed. Eventually, Glenn just stopped caring and stopped <laughs> coming up with themes. I'm not going to lie to you. And now it's just pretty much red and blue again. So before we had, like, kings and queens or whatever, or we had, like, uh... What, what, what else was the most one? elaborate like, one was uh, characters basically released before the year 2000 and characters yes. released after the year 2000 which is like honestly a really cool theme because you can make it worth characters in the game but like with the player base and just getting people here do you think anyone's gonna know the difference like what characters are where like technically the links were split up uh, split up like breath of the wild link was after 2000 and then just regular. I remember yeah like it was a cool idea but organizing everyone to do that because you're still going to see, like, you know, in, in the event of Kings versus Queens, for example, you're still going to see a Bowser on, like, the Queens team just because someone doesn't know the difference or really cares. Like, oh, I just want to be this team today. And didn't really or is a CPU. Yeah, or is a CPU, even better. So it, it's so hard to, to put the parameters on, and that was part of the downfall, I think. And part of why he kind of was just like, yeah, maybe just don't theme it anymore because it didn't really stick, but... Uh, shout out to Kunio for winning that one. Has a huge lead at 74 points. I see Geronimo probably just joined. Uh, one of the pirate hackers who is very good at this game. Um, and, you know, in case you missed our dissertation on pirate hackers, you could find that in the VOD from, from last free for all circuit on Sunday. Uh, that is a crew in Mario Kart, and they're a really good crew at that. Uh, they come Yarr, along that they be, <laughs> Yeah, they come along with Kart Clash. You could actually see Knight uh, with the face mask and the sunglasses on, who is a uh, Commentating with us, was that last team though, or was that last Glen circuit? I don't remember. Sometime last week. I'm pretty sure it was last Glen Tendo circuit. I think it was too. Um, guy knows so much about the game and always comes out and, and plays in the tournaments too. And he's like from Vegas too. He's like, he's like, uh, you know, getting close to West Coast. That's where a lot of those guys are at. And there's a mm -hmm. lot of players in there, dude. Like, because Card Clash covers a few crews and then those crews all play in like mario kart central events which i don't know if anyone's checked out that website but i've checked it out pretty recently and when uh knight first introduced it to me and it is um it's extensive <laughs> there, there's like i think 93 teams that compete in there they're literally from around the world it, it's crazy and then they have the events they do kind of like crew type battle sort of things like uh the 3v3s and 4v4s with the crews itself it's really mm. pretty neat, and I think anyone who's looking to take their, their Mario Kart to the next level should definitely check that out. Um, and that's all actually linked in the Master Hand Discord server, so if you guys are looking for any of that, you can find the Car Clash Discord server. You could, uh, wow, Car Clash at 88 on Saturday. What the heck? That's nuts. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, so yeah, yeah, go ahead and check gorgeous. that stuff out. 
And um, yeah, if you're looking for more info, you can find that in our Discord. And uh, once you make it to, to the Car Clash Discord, that that's probably the real info. Um, I feel like Glen Glentendo Circuit's like kind of just a nice introduction into some of this stuff because it does draw a lot of really good players from these who are looking for a little bit more of like a a way to test themselves, so to speak. Uh, it is truly the marijuana just... to <laughs> yeah, the cocaine the that is Mario Kart Clash. <laughs> that's true. Uh, and then, and then I guess I don't know what that makes MK Central. I don't know what kind of hard drug that is, but it's probably some metal. life. Yeah, I, I guess life, so. my friend. Yes, yeah, but so. uh, yeah, it's it's funny with the team though circuits. You know, it's like the thing with like team battles is that that actually is how a lot of as we learned from Night a few weeks ago. But that is actually how a lot of traditional competitive Mario Kart goes from Mario Kart Central and all these other Mario Kart Hub places that you will find it at. But here for the team dough circuit. Part of the reason it's a lot more casual is because, you know, the teams aren't organized. No, you know, no, they're not no, bracketed. No, no. You know, it's not like being like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna team with Kunio and, and Knight this week. Oh, I gotta get Scott I gotta get Scott on my team, man. I really want him up. No. It, it's yeah, it's just random. Like People way. just join teams, it's random, and then the teams become skewed because of that, as well as all other things. It's part of the reason why Team Doe is just pretty much sort of like a little practice ground for the big Kahuna tournaments, which are on Sunday night, and it's why they've it's part of the reason they've gotten less and less entrance, part of why they've gotten stale, and part of why it's time to uh <clears throat> Move a little forward, my friends. I mean, change is just the law of life. So we definitely got big hopes for the battle mode as well as all the other stuff that Chris said in terms of revamping the layouts and just pretty much bringing yeah, there's... like pretty much bringing the Glintendo circuit into the 22nd century. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty overdue. Uh, this is this was something I kind of pieced itself together when pandemic started. That was the, the first week of Team Doe and Glintendo circuit basically started. Wow, that was really narrow at the end. I think Knight actually ended up winning that. If, if, I think he did. Uh, hold on, let me. Uh... He sure did. Yeah. Yeah. Go, shout outs to Red again. Uh, followed right by uh, Geronimo. But anyways. Uh, yeah. So this all started around like when pandemic time started. So I basically just used the stock overlays I was using for everything else because I was like, oh, whatever, man. Like, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how many people are really going to enter Mario Kart. Keep it simple. And uh, sure enough, it ended up doing pretty well. And then well enough to where I was like, man, all this stuff needs to be updated, but I'm dizzy enough doing other stuff. But finally, the upgrades are all going to make sense. There's actually, um, I actually haven't even told you about this yet, Nintunist. There is another <gasps> event, yeah, unrelated to Glen Tendo Circuit, unrelated to Card Clash, uh, that is going to be getting announced relatively soon. That is going to be using some interesting new stuff that will hopefully eventually become part of these Glintendo circuits in the form of like some sort of like micro sponsorships and basically getting a little bit of uh, possibly some prizing um, into some of these events. But some details going in on that. Uh, we're going to be starting to activate some webcams for the uh, for for both you and I or anyone else who's casting. For example, like Knight joined us last time around. Uh, so we, we probably get him on webcam and stuff. So it starts to feel a little bit more, starts to feel a little bit more immersive and not just like Mario Kart Online. So mm -hmm. there's there's a lot to look forward to. I'm actually as I'm talking about, I'm I'm pretty excited to see how everything goes. And oh my god, look, literally oh, blue team versus Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hi guns. Uh, oh oh, you don't want to do that. Just burst, just burst through the door. Shoutouts to Seinfeld. Yeah, dude. Oh man, uh, this I'm actually a little disappointed that you told me that because now I actually have to comb my hair before I do yeah, these things. Yeah, I, you know, I thought about it too. I so I don't know if you have this either. And oh man, baby Park hair. Someone, yes, someone's gonna rage. Um, oh no, dude, dude, Cunio voted for it. Wow, what a son of a gun, dude. And, it, it, this is what I'm saying, dude. dude. He might just it's team he, he might just really like this look. He's he's ripping through it, dude. Yeah, he's actually actually there is the other link he's, from Blue Team. Who's yeah, that's right that's Ursa, uh, Ursa Major, right behind him. It's actually right on his ass. Oh my god, wow. this is like when you're on the highway and you dude, got that pissed off dude he behind must you. Grind Baby Park, I feel like that's the only oh why he's voting for it. He's doing a great job. Uh, he actually it really he's, is. He's very far ahead. Nailing these drifts. Very very far ahead along with Ursa. He's actually lapping this the CPU villager he's coming up on. And nice. I don't know who's playing Isabel, but that's I believe third place. I think. No, mark. that's another CPU, I think. I can't even tell who's who. That's why this map it's, is so it's bad. It's impossible. Yeah, I don't know what the placing is. Look, there's a bullet bill, but it's so far behind that's literally been lapped. Oh, here comes yeah. the blue shell. For just oh, that hit Ursa too. Yeah, Ursa did get past though, and I want to see. Okay. Oh, that's a pirate. That's Geronimo. Yeah, He's that's the Geronimo. Isabel. Yeah, I gotta look out for him. 
And here's the mushroom. Is going to be enough to secure second at the very least. So, yeah, it looks like Geronimo ended up taking that. And, oh, let me zoom in. Oh, uh, rip Kramer. Uh, oh, right. rip Mr. M. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't, don't feel bad. Everyone hates Baby Park, except for Cuneo, apparently. Um, oh. Yeah, dude. So, there is some excitement on the horizon. There might actually be some other racing games hitting this channel very soon. I don't know if anyone's oh. interested in that. But uh, you should be. Uh, if, if anyone has ever played Cart uh, Cart Clash, Cart Clash, not Cart Clash, Cart Rider, jeez. Uh, it right now it's it's the same people who make Maple Story. It's on your phone. You can get it. Cart Rider Rush. They're making a new game that's going to be on like PC and Xbox too. That is it's really good mechanics, but that's going to be another one I think I'm going to be doing some stuff with. So there will be some more racing for everybody coming really soon. I'm looking forward to that, my friends. More racing, more <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, you know we definitely got to get on this channel, right? You know you know what we need? What's a Race with Ryan. Race with Brian? Race with Ryan. Ryan? Who's Race with Ryan? <laughs> it's a... I want to know. Am I, what am I missing? <laughs> what meme am I missing? <laughs> a... I demand you up. tell me. What? <laughs> just, just look it up. God, I'll, I'll look, I'll look <laughs> you're just there. gonna look at the box art, and you're gonna have so many questions. Oh man! All right, there. At least we're a little bit even now. A little bit even now. Now it's a three v five as a, as opposed to like seven v one. So that's good. Hold on. Uh, that that that's good. And still confirming as yeah, the only stream we got at the moment. So bear with us, and let me get the label out because Cunio being a real trooper today, carrying the entire stream all by himself. Oh, what a big boy. Dude, Cunio's a man. I appreciate Cunio. I stand him pretty yeah. hard. Here you go. Oh, did you link me? Maybe. All right, I'll, I will check that out momentarily. I definitely stan Cunio, too. I uh, stan yeah, uh, dude. thing out here. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. I apologize to us both and everybody else. Anyways. Yeah, I definitely can never have a conversation, an actual adult conversation with you about anything now, which actually makes me a little disappointed. I gotta go but... by. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I just by. forgot I got something to do. All right, it, it's okay. Uh, but I'm looking. I'm definitely looking forward to that to seeing what other games we got. I mean, in just terms of branching out, I see you've been streaming uh, Card Saga Wars. You know, I mean that, that's uh, gonna be just picking such a up cool too. concept and idea for a game. Man. It's just like so. it's pixelated like candy for your eyes, man. It's literally <laughs> you watch it and you just melt into it because you're watching Mega Man X fight like Chrono from Chrono Trigger, and it just looks all like 16-bit and beautiful, and you're just like, whoa. Meanwhile, like a, a huge Katamari with the Katamari ball pops up on the screen, and you're like, what is this? Also, if what I'm describing sounds interesting to you, just look at. Uh, one of the more recent playlists on the Master and Gaming channel is a <gasps> game called Card Saga Wars, which is a fighting game. But yeah, anyways, back to this. I, I, we digressed so hard. That was crazy, man. Cunio actually bumped into the plant, right? As it was sprouting. Dude, I So it actually just created a wall for him. It didn't even bite him. And then he just caused him to trip over a banana that was near him. And he fell back to like fourth because of it. Dude, do you think Liam is going to ruin the dream for both... Uh... Oh. Versus Adrian Cunio to win on, on the high rule circuit with Link. I mean, Wario is barely fitting his cheeks onto that yes. tiny little bike. And speaking of cheeks, got them cheeks uh, shelled. Speaking of shells, that's a blue shell yes. hit Cunio. There's those cheeks again. I don't know. I mean, here comes Ursa. He's already looking way ahead right here for the final stretch. Ooh, uh, Cunio's Cunio in practice. up that in shortcut that turn, a little yeah. bit again and then gets lightning no. at the worst possible time. And this is Team Dove Circuit, my friend. That lightning is from somebody on the red team by somebody on the red team, and he's not going to hit his yeah, teammates. That's and Cuneo a, is actually going to finish last out of all the human players. That's a shame, man. That. That's like uh, that's one of those things that happens really quick. Oh no, Sweet Lou and Malware are below it. Never mind. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's one of those things that. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Did you see you race with Ryan? Oh oh whoa oh, oh, oh whoa oh. whoa. It's a Wario. That was creepy. Dude, that kind of that, that jump scared me for a second. That was hype. Oh, no, 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 Chris. It's a meme. There's a current meme going around. It's called the Wario Apparition. Hold up. It's, like, is, it's supposed to be this? this joke that like you have like a haunted copy of Mario 64 or something, and then you go into this room, and a giant Wario head chases you. Oh, 
God. It's a meme that's trending around on YouTube right now, and it's that Wario head. So I guess Kunio just decided to put it on his stream Dude, is in the background in between matches. Yeah, that's how I like that. Is, is Race with Ryan a real game? Is this real? Is this, <laughs> yes. Is, are you sure? I'm positive. When I was in stores, dude, right. when I was uh, when I was doing my brand ambassador gig with Nintendo, I like saw it for the I first don't like time, it. and it was such a popular game. I, you you want to know what it is? I, I guess, yeah, kind of. That Ryan kid is a YouTuber. He's uh, like a YouTuber for little kids, right? Who like does like toy openings, you know, like those huge like toy opening channels oh, that have course. like freaking billions huge and business. billions of views. Huge business, yeah. Well, not anymore. Yeah, the, one, like, the reason, the ones who are basically the reason that Kappa had to be made, or like Kappa got. Yeah, really that's forced. crazy. It's crazy how YouTube literally just had to nerf those channels because they were just too OP. Yeah, it was literally like a Ryan kid who like is so clearly just put in front of a camera. You know, in between his homework time by his parents, God, that's and so uh, bad. just he just reviews toys, and he got big uh, to the point where like he gets video games made video about him. Game. So I saw this video game in a store, and it's just like this little kid giving like a thumbs up. That's nuts. Yeah, I'll 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 screen share after this, but that's insane. Um, shout out yeah, to, this ain't to YouTube. Ryan, you won't uh, you won't get in trouble by putting a by putting a child. Except for except for the vods that go up. The yeah. habit, but they'll they'll never find me. Don't tell YouTube, please. <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> they'll never find me, Chris. I had, but the thing is, there's no context. I had no idea what that game was, what it was about, or anything when I first saw it on a store shelf. So I just saw this no. freaking race with Ryan game and like a little child no. giving a thumbs up, making that face. Yeah, no, no, like the of a no store. context. Race with Ryan. No context, full context, uh, race with Kugi. Kugi. What? Kugi's not in today. This is like the first time Kugi's not in. To Bruce, put it in yeah, context for you guys, just Google race with Ryan. Yeah, I'll, yes, no I'll show you. We got Kunio out yeah. here. Yeah, Kunio is out here, man. And I hope he's able to hold on to this because this seems that this is the story. This is the, the, the bad Mario Kart story that happens when you're just like leading in the third lap and then you just get destroyed at the end. But who knows? Maybe, maybe not this time because uh, he is kind of near that home stretch here and i know we're probably due for a blue shell i don't want to say it because i'm going to see it pop up okay i think we're good he's he's very close though um and this is like where he's lost it a couple times oh my god there's geronimo wow you know i, res I like respect Geronimo. i respect kunio for not just unloading those red shells on him this is his teammate you know like he's just like got oh. integrity dude yeah i i appreciate that geronimo he probably appreciates that and dude, I actually think this is a really even, even. Uh, oh wait, right, race with Ryan. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Hold up. So this is the game. This does not look like a real game. I can guarantee. I don't know it's what OG. Game. What is I've held OG? It in my hands. Outright Games. OG. What a fantastic game developer name for a game like this. That's even better. Yeah, the thing is that also was Ryan in the cart as the cartoon Ryan, but then, you know, you can't sell a game without putting a literal small child on the front of it. Nothing yeah. screams, yeah, I, I want this. this. I want this game. Oh, so, speaking of games I look, want, look, Chris. Look, um, look at the, he's like, yeah. Race. What is that thing behind him? Race like me. He's thinking through it with the cap. That little dino thing, it's so, it's so I, creepy. I don't like the way his hair is in, 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 in his 3D avatar because it makes him look like he has a weird lazy eye when he clearly does not. Yeah, like he's like a cross-eyed like. It's child, not doing him already... justice. He's a. <sighs> it's fine. Look, Ryan has Ju trained for justice all for, six justice years for of his Ryan. Life. <laughs> for all six years of his life to be a pro kart racer. Yeah, honestly though, he's probably paid. His college, his college tuition is probably already paid. So. Shout oh out, no, shout no, out no he, he probably uh, doesn't need, no. need to go to college. I think he can just buy the degree. Probably. All right, dude. Kunio's oh, getting, item swap he's time. Kind of clever these days. Um, he tried doing the shortcut where you don't do the two ramps over the water. You just kind of skip over. He missed it, but with had the wherewithal to basically back up and get the item boxes, which is something we've been seeing. Uh, the more higher level players we've been getting here, um, people who purposely wait in the back, like we've been seeing Kugi do it a lot, and then getting the item boxes, basically just kind of like reversing into them, getting them. But yeah, either way, good awareness. But. Actually, this isn't even a bad position to be in. I feel like everyone is clamoring for that first lap uh, being be in 10th place these days. And he's got the mushroom, so he's going to skip a ton of ground there. And look at that, already in third. Yeah, man, all the cool kids are doing it. 
There we go. Nails it that time. That gets a green shell with that uh, with that ghost. All right. Oh, yeah, but whiffing that shell right in front of EO right there, not going to be able to land it. But he's going to chuck out the second one, which will go right past his teammate, Steve Mickey, because it is, in fact, Team Bill Circuit. Red shells do not track your teammates. Oh, dude, that's Steph so. Mickey. He's, I think he's a Smash player, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think he's, like, either Long Island or, or something, New York. I could be wrong. I'm fairly certain he's a Smash player. I'm just not sure where from. But that's cool. Uh, definitely definitely getting the Smash demographic involved with Mario Kart. With these, for these sure, man. Games. For sure. I got to ask you a oh, question, no. though. What's up? Um, I, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, at, at, like Twitter.com. What'd you see? If you, if you take the penguin, if you take the penguin, penguin. All right, now hear me out. If you take the penguin from Mario 64, uh-huh. And you just chuck that little shit off the cliff. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it done. Does that violate the Geneva Convention? The Geneva Convention? I'm gonna say no, because it's. it's you don't it's think the world it. leaders would come together over something like that? These days. I, I feel like it's low key, like the only thing they would huh. come together on. I, you I, know, I, know. I, I, I hear, I hear what you're saying. I don't disagree. It's possible. Oh, yeah. Unload those fireballs, baby. Watch your back, though. <laughs> I knew that was coming. You didn't, you I was going to say, listen. yeah, you just want you just want Because I'm pretty sure that just would deflect the boomerang. Yeah, that it would, my friend. It, would it even do that, actually? I think, doesn't it? it probably would, back? I, I'm pretty I sure the boomerang wrong. is, like, totally transcendent. Is it? That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't shield it. What a dumb item. Dude, but I've been I've been saying that for months. Yeah, you have actually. I really have been saying that for months. The thing is, it's less like, it's just like all of Meta Knight's moves in all. They just go through everything, no matter what. And uh, Dude, that, that's the thing. It makes. Why, look, so it looks like he has a lazy eye. I know. Look, he doesn't have one though. Clearly, it's smaller than the other one. He's he's an OG though. That his eye is smaller. That that panda is really pissed about it. Yeah, because he knows that this game is a, a travesty and should not be happening. What, well, Rose Grind? Actually, I don't want. I'm not gonna be a hater, dude. This kid, he's made. And he's, he's 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 good. I'm not. I'm not dude, you can't you can't hate on you can't I hate can't. on Ryan. I, I, dude, I, apparently, I it was a really popular game. Like when I was working, I had a lot of people come in and ask for it. And I'm not kidding, Chris. Most of the time, we were literally sold out of that game. Yo. Oh, it's the boy. Yo. What is that a grimace? What is that? Is that like a weird McDonald's grimace? It yeah, looks like he, grimace after he like dried off after he bathed in the blood of his enemies. He just like sat in the sun too long. <laughs> He's like, oh, God. oh, it's just like they don't tan very well. You know, gr little gr uh, little grimaces. They, like, don't, uh, they don't tan well in the sun. He's like, bro, what yeah. happened in the spring? I thought like just yesterday, you know? <laughs> oh yes, found off the uh, as he travels back to his home. Yo, the way he, uh, found the off way just, uh, he went a off the screen was island great. Called uh, Gr uh, Grimace Alu, right off the coast of Yoshi's Island. Actually, is where those uh, creepy abominations of mankind Ooh, came from. It. And there he goes, just back into it. Looks like just he bathed from the blood of like his his Burger King enemy. I think what happened here is that Grimace killed the Burger King. Wait, and hold on, Gr Grimace is McDonald's, isn't he? Oh, I yeah. guess he could have killed the Burger yeah, King. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He yeah, killed no, the Burger right, King. Because right. he's cause that's his rival. Like, the Burger King was oh. just going on Twitter and just talking mad shit about Mayor McCheese. <laughs> Yo, remember that thing we were talking about? Real character, by the way. Mayor, Mayor, Mayor McCheese? I, didn't, I actually don't know. We'll come back to that. But remember that thing I was talking about earlier when when the teams get really unbalanced? And that's and that's probably why we're not... Or, or that's definitely why we're not doing Team Dust Circuit anymore after this week. Yeah, I think I remember you saying a little something well, like that. Here you Why'd go. you say this, that, Chris? Here's what happened. It's five new people join and all on blue team. It's no one's fault is the worst part. It just it just kind of happens. And the funny part is you look at the point disparity and you look at place one is Cunio holding it down. But then you see two, three, and four red team. The heck, man. Anyways, here we go. It's, poor, it's poor, poor Cunio all, all by his, his lonesome. And nothing we can do about it. Uh, no one else That's streaming at the moment, so biggest uh, fear. Yeah, we're gonna biggest fear in the world is what's happening to Cunio right here. Being all by yourself in the world. Yeah, that's what's happening. There he is, standing somewhere in like the, I guess Atlantic Ocean or wherever he's at right now. Yeah, man. I mean, some kids, you know, when you ask like little kids what they're afraid of when they're doing their homework or whatever, it'd be like it's Halloween, you know, and they're just like, you know, getting asked by their teachers, "What are you most afraid of?" They'll be like, "Ghosts, thunderstorms." 
uh, the zom zombies. And then there's always that one kid who's just like, existential dread. Yeah, dude, that kid understands something. Oh, look, soup, soup potato. That'll be one of my biggest fears. That you have the best and actually somehow most subtly racist tag <laughs> I've ever seen. But I mean, if he is Irish, I suppose it's okay. I, let's, I'm just, I'm going to guess that he is. I'm just going to say yeah. he's got the flag. It's so does, so does, um, so does Tucker. Yeah, it's, but he's got it, so definitely it's all good. Anyways, so while, while we're waiting here, because. The first oh, Irish player I've ever, yo, actually ever seen. Oh, he went away. That was circuit. Warrior. So, okay, looks like someone has found Cunio, so we're probably waiting out an entire race right now, by the way. So, so we're, we're totally just trying to time out this race. Um, yeah. But anyway, only two people and they're still social distancing. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. Not even not even communicating with each other, six feet apart. Yeah, it's smart. Uh, it doesn't look like they're actually going to start though. But before they start, let's look at what top eight is looking like right now. And uh, we have had some new people join relatively recently, um, and a lot of familiar faces today, including the likes of Kumio, Liam, Eo, Darks. Blue sky, like basically all these, all these regulars. Fate probably a new, newer regular, which I'm very happy to see. But um, with that, looks like Cunio is getting ready to go, so that's cool. So here he is, off and running on uh, good practice uh, to get this race right now when it's only you versus someone else. I also didn't catch if that other person was blue team or not. I'm pretty sure they were. Did you see? I wasn't looking. Yeah, I wasn't looking. We're, we're gonna find out sooner than later. I mean. I have a feeling Cunha is just going to rip through this and take the 15 points and say thank you. Uh, or maybe not say thank you, just say, see you, sucker. I got 15 say. points, ha ha ha. But, I mean, he's still... Okay, it's Steph Mickey who is who is on blue team, so I was right. Anyways, um, yeah, light work here for him. I mean, the 15 points, especially when you're already in the lead, definitely take that to the bank. Uh, definitely take those. Another... <laughs> shortcoming I guess of the Mario Kart online despite it being like the best net play on, on the Switch at the moment is that <laughs> sometimes these lobbies just don't fill up uh, it, it's what happens and to compensate they give you some CPU players which is okay um, CPU players are cool uh, it's just like they don't present the same amount of challenge as like a human player so having one or two is good just keep it honest with the items but in, in a scenario like this translates to free points. And like I said, we take it because that's part of the format right now, but uh, it's also why we are abandoning this particular format as soon as next week. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we get to see all of the things that are terribly wrong with this format, like all in one little stream on a, on, a, on its last stream at that, since this is going to be the last team there for us. It's like I told you, man, in that little, this little pep talk. That we had with each other before this uh, before the circuit started. It's the best way to send it off. It's the, it it's the best way to send off the Team Go circuit by letting it do what it does best. And nothing. You know, <laughs> and you were right. We can't just let it just die here by itself. We gotta yeah. we gotta usher them out and be like, you know, yep. GG's Team Go circuit. But okay, there we go. I see Mr. M. We, I see. Sweet we gotta Blue. hold its hand. Let's go. On its deathbed, while it while it mutters its last breath, and then it whispers in our ear, Chris, I hex you. And then it dies. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't know if you saw. Uh, another North yes. American Open for... Dope gun, dude, look! It's all right, all so new. for anyone who missed the spiel in the beginning, uh, Team Doe Circuit, gonna be the last one, because, uh, well, I don't know, maybe it'll still be called Team Doe Circuit, but... We're moving on the battle mode, We're moving on the bigger and better things. Uh, Team No Circuit, it's a formula that has just sort of dried out and become a little less fun with time, especially with the with the regular Glintendo Circuit. On Sunday, getting the be so good, where these just don't really motivate anyone. Uh, those circuits, I do think, motivate people because they're still really good players, so it gets competitive. But these just turn out to be a bit of a wash because the teams end up uneven and the way the items work, I think, frustrates people more than anything else. Uh, you know, if you, if you want to win, just get the points. You're basically encouraged to take out teammates. Meanwhile, teammates get pissed off about that, rightfully so. Um, cause we, so th there's a lot of reasons. Plus, like, battle mode is, like, a mode that we just don't really get to see. Um, so it's going to be fun seeing that mode that never gets played get played a bit. So that, that that's what the we're going to move into. Another thing is, is that, like, you know, 
what's happened is that this has become sort of just like a this has sort of become the casual like side event of the Glintendo circuits. Meanwhile, on Sundays is where we have the big, you know, like legit, like, you know, like I'm tougher than you. I'm the best Mario Kart player tournaments here. Like it's sort of just become a little bit of a practice ground for those tournaments specifically, because nobody takes the actual format of itself seriously because of the way that we particularly in the Glintendo circuit structure this tournament. And a big reason we want to switch to battle mode, besides the fact that we just never get to see or use battle mode, is because if we're going to run like a sort of casual, you know, if we're going to run like a sort of more casual second event for the Glintendo circuits, why not make it something Dude, like, I why not make it something like battle mode, which is in itself a lot more casual. And it's just like Dude, sort of a more the side, thing is, it, it is literally the side event of Mario it's Kart. It's a different game. Do you, you get what I'm saying? It's a different game. And that's the thing is like, I think it's more motivational to just come out every Thursday and be able to play battle mode and just like throw items like, like shamelessly and just have fun with it versus like, you know, super sweaty, you know, sweat your PP off competitive, like smash. So with that in mind, I mean, you could even see Knights just like, yo, I'm done for the day. He got blue, sh he got blue three times a second. He said, and yeah, that's massively frustrating, because <laughs> like yeah. you play really smart, because like Knight basically, you know, he walked us through basically the whole cycling of items when he was when he was on with us last time, and he was basically explaining how you kind of dictate items, but that just goes out the door completely um, in, in these. Uh, and the team circuits because especially when the when the team numbers are uneven and there's just there's just no you know there's no way to account for it this is more frustrating no. but anyways um where the pizza i don't know man not in my stomach unfortunately so let's go to the land where there is no accountability anyway the battle modes yeah, there you know, we go. You know, where we so, just chuck stuff at each other. And I don't believe it's going to be, um, I don't think it's going to be just Shine Thief, if I'm not mistaken. Now, yeah, I gotta get more info from Glenn, too, but I believe it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be different ones every week, I would imagine, because there are five different battle modes in the game. There's, uh, Balloon Battle, Shine Thief, Bomb Bomb Blast, uh, there's literally two other ones, and I don't remember exactly what they are. Uh, hold up. This is important. I gotta, everybody shut up. Yeah, so... Everybody... Everybody, everybody, everybody shut up. I think, yeah, random battle mode does sound hype. And honestly, I'm not sure what's going to happen with formating teams or how that works. If it's... I don't know. Hopefully Glenn's got this figured out. I, I'm definitely going to check in with him on that. Renegade to, Roundup? Um, I... What the, what the balls is I'm trying to remember what that is. Up. I feel like when this game first came out all those years ago, I, I feel like I played it once, but I can't remember. Renegade Roundup, and uh, the last one was Coin Runners. Yeah, Coin Runners is I believe is cool. just like, you know, I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So, yeah, those will be fun. I'm hoping it's random, too, to be honest with you, just, just so we get a maximum amount of variety. And I'm not sure how you set it up in game or how that works, but I'm sure. Glenn I'm pretty sure it's the same as uh, just regular tournaments. I you wonder just if you go into the, like the mode and then you set balloon battle, and or like shine thief. We we try we we saw it a few last week. You remember? At yeah. the end of the team build circuit, I asked you to just go into the. Yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just I'm wondering if you could change that every week or because I'm wondering like you could pretend, theoretically do something different uh, every week. But the thing is, I I don't know if this is going to solve the problem with. Uh, the team's getting uneven, and that and that kind of concerns me. But I guess it's at least different to some ends. I don't um, think they're teams. Is oh, is it just free for all battle mode? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. What the heck? Yeah. So that, we don't gotta worry about that, dude. Oh Everybody just God. goes in and they yes. throw shit at each other. It's great. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's gonna be hard then. It's like a food fight, except the principal's not gonna come in because we're the principals. That's true. They're just gonna talk about it. <laughs> the, the principal just comes in while the food fight's happening. Like, he just brings in, like, the new superintendent of schools while he's just coming into the cafeteria. Meanwhile, the kids are just freaking chucking shit at each awesome. other. And he, and he just doesn't mind. He's like, yeah, this happens, like, every, like, every, like, week or so. I've just, I've given up trying to fight it because I want, I want these kids to grow and to have nurturing, free spirits. And who would we be as adults to censor them at this young of an age? Who would they be as adults if they felt like they had to grow up in that level of censorship? Yeah, man, what, what, what's that all about anyways, right? That's what I'd do if so, I was a principal, you know? True, I, I'd, I'd, I'd put... Cafeteria food, you don't, you don't want to eat that shit. If I was principal, I'd, I'd have... The water fountains have soda. That, that's like the things you used to always say when you were, like, trying to be class president. <laughs> yeah. Know, that? Anyways. Um, yeah, dude, Glenn didn't even enter this week, I noticed. What Yo, a Liam Lynx, first place? Yo, second? Let's go. Oh, my God! 
Uh, oh, that reminds me of the uh, that reminds me of uh, the pre two thousand versus post two thousand, which I like to call the uh, the Boomers versus Zoomers edition of the Glentendo circuit or the Team Doe circuit, I should say. That was fun. Had a good time. Had had a good time with that one, but. Yeah, people just, uh, people never really always complied with that either, so it's like, eh, what's the, oh, oh my god, an almost unanimous, uh, almost unanimous TikTok clock voting here in this pretty full lobby, looking like we got a Twisted Mansion as one of them, and I don't know what this random is gonna be, and we got the one Twisted Mansion out of all of the TikTok clocks. Let's go Twisted wow. Mansion, let's go Sweet Lou getting her wish for Twisted Mansion, now you gotta win. You don't have to win. I don't put that pressure on you. I'm sorry. No, no. Anyway. If you don't win, <laughs> then your vote is null. Yeah. And you are null. As a person. No. Yes. It's gonna happen. All right. Let's. See. You can't vote for something and then lose. She's like, it's like not allowed, out, Chris. Right, I gotta drop some fun facts on you all real quick. Uh, anybody watching this, and I think this is very, very important for you all to know, because it probably wouldn't be a Team Doe Circuit stream without me dropping some Mario fun facts here and there, and Chris being I... strangely very much interested. I am, dude. I want to learn the Mario lore, and I'm, I'm not going to look it up myself. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Uh, nah, it's not strange. I'm not trying to put myself down that much. Uh, at Gons, Gons, you definitely know this in the chat. Uh, did you guys know that in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, it is possible to punch Luigi square in the balls? Wait, hold up. Maybe. I'm maybe? It's weird that I may have known this, but like how does it actually work though? <laughs> well I'm, I mean I'm not kidding. It is literally a thing. Uh when you know how you can uh to anybody who's played that game, you know how eventually you get like the little mini Mario ability and Luigi can hit Mario in the head and to shrink him? Yes. Well, if uh, you try to do the high jump mm -hmm. if you try to do the high jump where Luigi bounces off of Mario. If he's mini, you can actually jump before uh, Luigi lands on you. And if you do that, you jump up and you punch Luigi square in the dick. Is and there an animation then... for it? <laughs> What's up? Is there an animation for it? Like, does he like fall? Yes, he like, he like, he, he gets like tears in his eyes and he like Dude, puts his hands that's... on his crotch. <sighs> and it actually has an in-game stat too. Yeah. When you do that, you get one coin. It counts as like you like hitting like a block, right? So, like, you get one coin, but in exchange, Luigi loses one health point. Dude, the attention to detail that used to go in some of those Game Boy Advance games, man, are... They're, it's amazing. I, Not that Nintendo doesn't put a lot of attention to detail in the game, because they really do. But, like, something like that is just so weird to have in, but they, but they would have it in, man. What an, what an era. Wow, man. And also, what a what a star for, for Kunio. He was able to... That worked out perfectly for him. That was literally like the star wore out just as he got past the bomb. Um, oh my God, who was just stuck there? <laughs> who did, who got stuck in that little grass grassy knoll? Uh, oh, it may no. have been Mr. M actually, or Steph Mickey maybe. I didn't see who it was. I I'm not sure which one either. But just in the meantime, I wonder if I can find that. I'm gonna see if I can find that clip. Like I bet you someone must have recorded Luigi getting hit. Oh, like this? It, it, oh, do you have it? Check your DMs, boy. Oh my god, perfect. Alright, let's... It's, like, so stupid. Alright, let me, um... <laughs> it looks funny already. <laughs> I know. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pull that ish up, almost unanimous sunshine airport. Oh my god, that is <laughs> awful. Why is he doing this to him? <laughs> because he gets money for it. He does, yo. He does. He does get money for it. Imagine selling out your brother, just so. Imagine selling out your brother, hitting him in the balls, so you get some coins. <laughs> it's like freaking jackass, dude. You get money just for doing stupid things. And bow, 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 bow. This is going on for a while. Wow. Bow, 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 He's still doing it. He's not even getting money anymore. <laughs> dude, I guess like I. I vaguely remember that, but maybe not enough to, like, have, like, yeah, I don't know. That is so I didn't much. know that. I didn't, when I was a little kid playing the game, I didn't know that. Why would I? I wouldn't have Yeah, well, you're not really that. thinking about, like, you know, you know. Punching people in the balls? Yeah, it's not thinking about it. I don't know. I mean, I watched America's Funniest Home Video when I was a kid. That was every single video on Yeah, that. you're right. Everybody loved that. Someone gets hit in between the fucking 
excuse me, just someone gets hit in the groin. <laughs> it wasn't, but it got even better. Because, like, when you're watching America's Funniest Home Videos, right? That's all it was. But then I remember watching Tosh.0. Oh, and he said, you know what? This is actually getting a little stale. It sort of became the Team Doe circuit of crotch shots, if you would. Interesting. And then, so what he decided to do is that he decided to play a compilation of uh, women getting hit in the crotch instead. Oh, uh, sure, yeah, that, that, that definitely makes sense. That definitely makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, it made yeah. it made perfect sense. I, I, what did he call them? Clam bams? Oh, did he? I, I, I actually well, think I just made there, that up. I don't, the, think he called, I don't think he called them there, that. There's a term that is a little crude that, that I guess I've heard before. I'll probably not say it. Begins with I'm the T. I'm kind of nervous. It's, 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 don't say it, of course, if you feel like you can't say it, but, like, it's ruder than clam bams? Uh, I don't know. Do you think twat is a bad word? Like, twat shot? It is in England. Yeah, all right. Well, this is in England, so... But we, these, we have had people from England in this tournament, so I don't want to offend anyone, but anyways... Yeah, but, I, have but I don't think there's any in this one. Yeah, no, yeah. wait, no, we have the... Oh, we have the Irish nah, dude, Yeah, that's obviously that's not, the same, that's not no. England. It's that's just close, the UK. yeah. Don't actually say that to an Irish person. Yeah, definitely do not. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, here we go. I don't know who's in first. Uh, probably Fate. I think that's Fate, Blue Team, Waluigi. Meanwhile, I don't even know who's playing Donkey Kong. I think it was... Uh... Oh, wait, I do know who's playing Donkey Kong. I think it was Mr. M. Yeah, it was Mr. M. Dude, I think All he's, right, he's taking... for a team bell circuit. Yeah, he's taking the tips from Koogies. Like, yo, Donkey Kong, though? Best character in the game. Low key. Low key, my friends. I can't a character believe... who, fun fact, was... um. Taken out of uh, the Mario Party franchise because he was too big. Really? Was yeah, he... you remember how like you he know was DK was in all the N64 Mario parties? Yeah, but wasn't he in the most recent Mario Party? Yeah, no, they they, they changed their mind about that. Like eventually, I think they just kind of stopped caring. But the thing is, DK was in like all the N64 Mario parties, right? Uh -huh. And uh, then he was in Mario Party 4, which was the first one for the GameCube. Then he wasn't in 5, and he wasn't in 1 until, like, 10, I think. And I'm pretty sure the reason they did that is because with just the GameCube being the way it was, they... <laughs> Alright. Almost done. <laughs> it's... <laughs> is this the new transition layout? This is actually a really good wait screen. Uh, but, I mean, we could... we You know, it's also good to know where we're going next, I guess. I don't uh, care. Do TikTok clocks get no love today? Like, well, it's getting the love in the votes, but it's just not winning. Dude, it's like Bernie, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too soon. Any, any, anyways, we're moving right I'm along sorry. here. <laughs> I'm we're, sorry. We're moving, that inappropriate? We are moving right along, Nintunist. This is the 18th I'm sorry. race for Cunio. Also, I'm, I am I'm so excited to use the new overlays because it made me realize how much I hate these current ones, but I just was suppressing it because I'm like, well, I don't have time to make new ones, so I'm feeling good about that. Uh, also, Kunio, feeling good about, uh, I don't know, just, just wanted to use the rear view mirror a bit to see the front of the character. Yeah, I think they actually turned their heads a little bit because it's supposed to seem like they're looking behind them when they do that. Like, if you, like, hold A or what, whatever, not A, whatever button it is, that gets them to turn around like mm -hmm. that. They uh, they actually peer behind themselves a little bit. The character does, just to see who's uh, just to see who's coming up behind them. Uh, what was what was I saying though about like? D Dude, he did. Yeah, and I, I what? Did you see him like go over that banana? I'm not sure why that didn't trigger him, but I, I think it went past it. I I feel like it looked like it disappeared unless it it didn't clank with the shell. I don't know, man. Maybe that's like the weird laggy stuff that happens in Mario Kart that you just don't really know because I don't know. Because it appears that there's no lag, but maybe there's some hit detection stuff. I don't know, dude. Maybe not. Either way, Cunio's safe. And in the middle of the pack, and got a lot of work ahead of him. Because, um... Jeez, I'm assuming that's Fate at way out there. And he is out yeah. there. With that blue shell, though. It looks like he's going to be hunting him down. But, uh... Who is that? Probably Ursa? Or, yeah, Ursa in second place. Yeah, dude, that, that blue shell did nothing. <laughs> Look how far ahead he is still. I mean, it hit him. It just didn't really matter. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Something happened. Or, no? No, I think he got hit by something else. Okay, yeah. Like, he got hit by the blue shell. I saw it in the map. Like, he, he did spin out. But, like, I just don't think it mattered that much. Because he was so far away anyway. Here comes another, but it's not going to be for him. It's going to be for... 
whoever that is in second. EO. Oh, it is EO. You're right. Good call. Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, I, I know things. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be good for uh, I guess Liam, who's also on EO's team. So he he did get spared from the blue shell and does still have some room to catch up. Um, not that much room. And there's a Mario on the field. Maybe a metal Mario. Who's that in second? Oh wait, who is using? Is that Scott? Who is using Metal Mario? Someone is. Is it Scott? Might, uh, well, it we'll might find be. out in a second, yeah. I guess. Like, why is it somebody else that's like coming? And uh, Scott is another. Uh, Liam, Liam. Oh, it's Switch. Liam. Oh, okay, yeah, that's Liam. Yeah. Miss, miss the Liam streams. Liam was was streaming for a bit too. Yeah, I suppose he was. Uh, so good, good on him. Uh, good on him for finishing second in that race with my boy. Metal Mario, he up. He knows, man. He knows that everything is Chrome in the future. Just hanging on to that right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think they um, I think they what they did is that they uh, the DK was in all like the N64 Mario parties. And then they put him in four, and then because of the uh, <laughs> and then because of the uh, graphic, uh, just because of the graphics of that game, he was too big. And they couldn't realistically make him smaller, because then he would look like disproportionate. Yeah, you don't want like DK a anymore. small Donkey Kong. That's weird. That that that's that's pretty weird to him. Yeah, I think that's why they like turned him into like a space on the board instead, like a DK space. And I think they did that because even in those games, oh, like yeah, five and did. six and seven, like he looks they even totally bigger. Yeah. So I think they just wanted to make DK like look like DK rather than make him playable. Dude, he's a gorilla. Like, of course they should. That that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's not like he's Ridley. Handsome gorilla at that, by the way. That he is, with the necktie, always busy. Always in a good mood, like, very friendly. You know, he's a good guy. It says everything, man. I mean, like, wearing a necktie and nothing else, it's like, yeah, you know, like, I I'm here to be formal. I know I got important shit to do. But I also like to party. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. He's like a, yeah, he's like a, a very special kind of, like, business casual. Might be a little more casual than business. Oh my god, dude. I want to. Alright, so I'll, I'll, show you the, I'll show you guys the scores after this, but it's so lopsided right now. It's, uh, so the funny part is is the, the score, or the team, it's it's 5v10, and the score is literally. Uh, it's like half of itself. Like, like, red team is down by half of the amount that blue team has, but they also have half of the amount of players. Unfortunate. And now we got Kunio rocking the blue link. As well, of course, with Breath of the Wild Link. Just full team repping here. I actually think, uh, it, I don't know, maybe, especially coming from, from my generation, the, the old one, uh, I feel like Breath of the Wild Link just, he definitely does have a nicer aesthetic than, than regular Link, I gotta I got say. You think so? I kinda do, yeah. I, I mean, I love regular Link's, like, green tunic, and it obviously has a charm that is, is um very unique and irreplaceable for the character, but I think if there was going to be an aesthetic to replace it, I do think this one is good enough. You know, I agree. I mean, for me, it's like, I was I was never like the biggest Zelda fan. I've tried to get into it a few times when I was younger, but I was I was literally bad at Zelda games. Like, I always just got lost in like, oh, the first dude. dungeon. He might still be oh, able to okay, take this okay. Yeah, that was not a bad got place Ursa to get Major hit. right on him. This is oh. really close. Okay. Held on. I am happy to see that because I was going to be really upset if I had to watch Kunio go down again like that. But guess what? I didn't. Instead, there is first place now. Steph Mickey actually right on the heels. And yeah, okay. So a few people coming back into it. Geronimo taking a break. Black Mama taking a break. They're back. Um, unfortunately for us, our coverage of this is probably going to end kind of soon. I think this is uh, 20th race coming up. Well, I say soon, but that's like a whole circuit's worth of, of races. That they are. I, uh, but yeah, I think like, I like, I was never too good at Zelda games, so I never got too much into them. I mean, I'm still gonna try. I think the next Zelda game I'm probably gonna eventually play is probably gonna be A Link to the Past. Glenn told me that's a really good, you know, yeah, that's first good Zelda one. game to complete it is. to really like get you into it. I, um, but the thing is, like, just being like the Nintendo nerd I am, I don't know, I guess I appreciate just the iconic nature of Link's classic outfit. Like, and again, also like Glenn, you know, I really don't like the classic Link outfit that uh, Breath of the Wild Link and Smash has, because just like he's got like the short shorts 
and everything. It's like, I don't know why they decided to just not put well, a is... full on outfit in there instead if they decided to make something eerily like it. But I do, I also do agree with you. Like if they were, if they were to like permanently rebrand Link, which yeah, it's happening. God, God knows what they're going to do. Like, it's I mean, happening. we all know, like, you know, the next, the, the next game is, the next Zelda game is literally a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild. So we, we know that that's, that might even come out this year for all we know. Uh, yeah, if they were to do that, this is honestly a really cool model as well. You know, it's, it's a very complete one. It's like, it's something that's sort of like a mix of like sort of his classic like cell shady design that he got from like Wind Waker and whatnot, but it is also adult Link at the end of the day. It, it sort of brings a lot of different things into it. It sort of brings a lot of different like, you know, variation of Link elements to the character, if you would. What would like the slight cartoony cell shade, but the fact that he's still like a grown up, if that makes any sense. Because usually you got like, one or the other but now that's not really the case anymore so i i agree i think it's like a i think it's like a pretty solid rebrand i you know i kind of like short shorts link though i'm not gonna lie to you that's like that 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 legend of zelda 2 links or links adventure zelda special that that is a it's a it's a unique one color wise but anyways uh... dude if somebody's gonna pull wear short shorts they might as well rock crocs with socks in my eyes I don't but anyway, know. That, 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 that's original Zelda lore, though, man. That, that's where he's coming from. A mark of the time. That is true, actually. Time. He did have short shorts back then, but yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Mark of the time. Anyways, um, here we are. All right, here we are, Animal Crossing. Yeah, the winter variation of Animal Crossing, too. Very beautiful. I always appreciate that good old winter aesthetic. What with the snowman outside, the little, uh, the little snow on the trees. It's beautiful. Beautiful to say the least. Of course, uh, Animal Crossing being the uh, only stage in this game that actually just have season swaps, much like a Smash Brothers stage. Actually, if you ever think about that, like Yoshi's Island or uh, crap, what's another one? Is Yoshi's the Island, the only one. I think so. But anyway, um, it's it's a it's a nice little aesthetic to have on a stage like this. But uh, here you go, Kunio, rocking pretty far ahead right here for for his final lap. Uh, it's not even gonna matter if there's a blue shell or anything because he's got the boom box out here in front. So unless he trips on anything or messes up royally, not gonna matter. Just gonna pop that one right behind him just to secure another W. And it's actually really good. You know, despite the fact that Kunio is the only streamer we had, we're uh, having today, he's uh, he's getting the most results in this tourney so far tonight. Yeah, I think he, dude, he has like a pretty good chance to possibly win today. He's been getting a lot of first places. He's, well, let's see, he's at 212. He has another three races to go, so that's another potential, what, uh, 45 points he could still get. So he could end up, you know, assuming he, and this is a big assumption, but like if he were to win the next race, or the next three races, uh, 212 plus 45, yeah, so two two fifty seven. Um, that seems like a number that could maybe do it today. I don't know. I, the thing is, is like you'll see like three hundred plus win a lot of days. It just it, some days are just different, man. Uh, some days are very different. Yeah, that, they are, my friends. It's a whole different thing. Meanwhile, over here, this looking a, like we got a good old three v two. Yeah, this, this is time around, spectating. or at least for the next race. Yeah, this is where Cunha is gonna end up next. So you know what? Why don't I get a refresh on the scores? I'm just gonna get whole wipe on it transition to it don't Wait. forget the transition to it you know, i i know but I'm, 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 re I'm loading them up now i had old scores loaded up when i decided i wanted to do this but uh, we're just gonna watch baby luigi for a minute oh okay remember yeah, baby characters are viable in this game well not this game specifically but mario kart what's up remember when baby characters are viable in mario kart i do yeah i do especially in like a lot of the older ones i think in uh I think in Mario Kart 64, the meta of that game is actually like the lighter characters. I think they handle, I think they handle better and they go faster, if I'm not mistaken. N Nintendo had a weird thing back then where like when they made like heavy characters, they had to, Jesus, <laughs> they <stuff>. had to, <laughs> uh, wow. Let me get a calculator, I'll get the average. It's not as bad as it looks because the entrant number is, is obviously halved. So let me see what's going on here. Um, the average score for red is. Oh wait, that, I did that wrong. My bad. Uh, seven twenty-nine divided by five. Yeah, one hundred and forty-five point eight points. So remember that number, one hundred and forty-five. We'll, we'll say one forty-six. We'll round up one forty-six. So one forty-six versus. Uh, dude, I think the red team is winning. Actually, I can tell you already. 
146 versus 137.9. 146 versus 138. So Red Team actually has the lead right now by 10 points. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Despite the, the point disparity, which usually goes the other way. Usually the team that is has the number advantage is usually winning by a lot of points too because they have the luxury of having basically more live racers in, the, in any given... Oh God, that Wario. The, the more live racers in any given um, race to the point where they kind of just get the advantage of what kind of items hit or who they hit, whatever the case is. So the uh, story could be rewritten on the very last... Um, well, this format of the Team No Circuit, and then whatever it turns into after this. So the red team is up? Yeah, red team is up, dude. Red team is up by Absolutely crazy. Right? Don't let the numbers fool you today. I shall not, my friend. And here we go. Over here, I'm looking at it on the left right here of all these beautiful battle modes that we had. I mean, we're definitely, I imagine, we're probably going to start. Oh, I mean, I don't know what Glenn is going to do, but I mean, just for tradition's sake, we could start next week with Balloon Battle, which is the oldest uh, battle mode in Mario Kart history. I do believe it debuted in the original game in Super Mario Kart and has been in every installment since then, if I'm not mistaken. Or uh, has it been in every one? It wasn't, yes, it wasn't Super Circuit, all right. Oh uh, God, it happened again. Error. Why no. does he keep doing that? No. Anyways, uh, also, come back to the scores. Uh, Wait, you didn't see... Please tell me you saw that. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Okay, you saw it. It's okay. No, Chris, I, <laughs> I was actually kind of creeped out for a second. Because if you didn't see that, and I did. Okay, good. Oh, he, he, caught, he got another... Oh, wait, no. It's him, and, it's him and Ursa. I thought he actually got more people. That sucks. Anyways, so the reason these scores are so skewed is I think it's because Soup Potato literally only has four points, so... Yikes. Uh, did he just do one and then do He must have done one. Maybe he just, like, tried it out and was just like, oh, you know, give it a shot. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. This is a lobby of at least four people, and I have a feeling it's probably more than that. <laughs> Dude, even he was probably like, yo, Team Doe's kind of work. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to race in team, though. It'd be like that. Yeah, and then there's also, uh, there's also Shine Thief, which I am very much going to enjoy casting. Very much going to enjoy casting. Do you remember Shine Thief, Chris? Yes. Oh, okay, that's hype. But for those of anybody watching, if you don't know what Shine Thief is, uh, there is a Shine Sprite that is on the field. One player goes over to grab it. And then everybody tries to get the shine from that player. I think you have to be like the one who held the shine the longest or hold, yeah, is holding it when the time is up. I think, uh, I hope it's a total time, but it, it might be like hot potato, like the thing, the second thing he said. Yeah, it says right here, if the player holds the shine sprite until the timer reaches zero, they win. So I believe that's the one. And then there's bomb bomb blast, where I believe you just throw bomb Those bombs at each exciting. other from item boxes, which is just... As explosive as it sounds. Meanwhile, uh, or is it Shine? I'm excited for this. No, Next week will be fun. That'll, that'll be a good time. Get some battle mode in here, dude. Absolutely. And the Sign rules are going to be up. interesting because I think for some of these battle modes, I believe there are teams. Uh, not not our teams. There can be teams. There can be. I so, was say, I was pretty sure there could be. Yeah, there are definitely teams and there are definitely free for alls as well. Like Coin Runners is one where it's. You know, it's a little similar to Shine Runners from Mario Kart DS. Like the teams have to just collect the most coin, collect the most coins before the time runs out to win, and then they lose coins if they get hit by items. Blah blah blah. And then you just, you know, whoever has the most coins by the end wins and whatnot. The only one I don't know is that apparently there's a battle mode that is exclusive to this game here in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and that's a Renegade Roundup. I don't actually know what it is. It says it's a game mode in the vein of cops and robbers, with the racers being divided into two teams. One team, known as the Authorities, Yo, has to what use potted piranha Snipe plants. Itself, Anyways, go on. Yeah. It says one team known as the Authorities has to use potted piranha plants, which are permanently attached oh, to the front of their vehicle and right. only serve to capture the opposing team. They don't function like the regular item. In order to capture players from the other team, known as the Renegades. Captured Renegades are transported into one of several cells floating above various points on the course where they can drive around the inside of a small cage. The remaining Renegades can free their teammates from the cells by driving over a key switch place game. below mm -hmm. said jail cells. The renegades win if at least one member is still running free after the time runs out, and the authorities win if all the Renegades get captured. 
The authorities also temporarily lose their ability to capture if they're hit by items, and renegades receive a speed boost when they're freed from their cells. Oh my god, this game has cops and robbers? Yeah, I think I played it the one time when everyone wanted to play this at the first. Dude, Cuneo's getting hosed this this whole race. Good lord, man. Hopefully his luck turns around with the last bit of the land. <laughs> Cuneo. But his luck turns around with the last bit of this race coming, but uh, it's not really looking likely. It looks like Ursa probably has us all locked up um, along with... Uh, who's been playing Peach? That's been... I forget. Uh, Steph that's not, oh, Steve Mickey. It is Steph Mickey. I had that right. Steph Mickey. Just, just a really good performance out of him. Getting second, uh, getting close to the 100 point marker. I think he did start a little bit late, so that's probably why he's a little off. And he still has like a good, you know, near 40, 40-ish minutes to finish. Uh, our run here is going to be over very shortly, though, since our run is mostly hinging on Cuneo's run, since uh, he, he's basically our eyes for this tournament right now. That it is, my friend, that it is. That's the thing about only having one. Uh, but at least we at least we had him, at least we had our boy, Cuneo, yeah, who I gotta say, that last uh, that last game, kind of flopping. Yeah, a little bit flopping. Ah, tease me. Um, I had to say it once. Uh, it, it's yeah, the last it's been a while. It's the last team yeah, you had, had to. to. Yeah, it's either now or never. Yeah. That it was, my friend. But yeah, we're out here in his 22nd race, looking like we got three more on the part of Cuneo before we're going to have to clock out a little bit earlier tonight. But here he is on Bone Dry Dunes. God, I hate this track. <laughs> it is so aesthetically boring. It's and, Bone Dry. You know, it's also awkward as hell. What do you want it's got that it? stupid freaking wooden thing at the top when you go off the little ramp that's, like, impossible to get to. It's just... Yeah, I agree. Weird. I don't... I, this, this map isn't the most fun map. It's just... It's, it is kind of awkward. Kind of weird, champ. It's just bleh. Yeah. It's very bleh. You know? You ever, you ever just... That's the best way I can describe it. You know? I mean, you're going to see right here. You go into the giant dry bowels. It's definitely, it's definitely on There's brands. just that wooden thing up there. How do you get up there? What do you do? I feel like it's just like a certain way to... Wow, nice. Nice toss wow, that with, was the, with nice. the banana peel. I uh, got him a couple spaces ahead. Uh, Put a ahead, hidden marker me. on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, another this is the second time he's gonna hit this ramp thanks to the mushrooms. All right, yeah, that's actually really good. It's actually really good that he had mushrooms there. I believe that's the only real realistic oh. way you can get to that one. Yeah. I think you can. Um, if you're if you're able to somehow, I think you might be able to mini turbo to it and then just sort of like uh sort of hop. You just sort of hop your way onto it. Oh my god! Yeah, that's uh, we we got some exclamation on that in the chat uh, between Scott and I. Ninja. Oh, basically you can get up there, and that's right. Yeah, there's basically like the little sand geyser that pops up, and, and you just like bump off on that up to the higher level. But apparently it's slower, according to Scott sixty four, and I'll take his word for it because, uh, yeah, I I think I remember getting up there at some point. It's just been so long. And apparently there's an item up there, so I guess that might be the appeal to get up there, but I don't know. At that point, in, in the actual lap, who cares? I've been playing this game for like mm -hmm. six years, and close. I did not know that. Well, cause I what, had no which idea. Which game was this from, uh, this map? Which what is this from? Uh, which which game is this? This isn't a Mario Kart 8 stage, is it? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, then maybe I did it back on the Wii U. Anyways. Yeah, you probably did. Yeah, this this is a Mario Kart 8 original stage. Yeah, there you go. Ursula Major gonna take that one over uh, over Cuneo. Meanwhile, we got Kramer down in third. Uh, Steph Mickey finishing fourth, and uh, that seems to be the top four Dude, for the Sahir race. I like Kramer's me. It reminds me a lot of uh, like handsome Squidward. <laughs> handsome Squidward. Yeah, like the cheekbones and just like the overall yes. shape of, of his like head. Oh oh oh, we gotta pull that up. Oh yeah, I could do that. Gotta pull up Handsome Squidward. Love Handsome Squidward. Dude, same. And it's like, I remember when he got hit in the face again. It just made him even more handsome. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my Good. god, what an, what an Adonis. Dude, Kramer's knee is, is Handsome Kramer. I tell you. Just Handsome Kramer. Look at that. Oh my god, look at the Nigel Thorne Warrior one. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, I love everything <laughs> Nigel Thorne. <laughs> yeah, he's... There's a, there's a lot of really good uh, Nigel Thornberry based morphs. Um, I don't know if you... There was one of, like, Spider-Man, um, where I think uh, Mary Jane turns into, like, Nigel Thornberry face. I forget. I have to see if I find it. Oh, God. Um, Chris Elodium, I've been playing Mario Kart, and I've been hit in my left eye. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to find this for the next one. That was a horrible Nigel Thornberry. I am so that's a, sorry that's a tough to one everybody to do. watching That's this. a tough one to do because it's nasally and it also has an accent. Yeah, and it's a little bit like that. That was that was yeah. actually better. Yeah, he kind of sounds like a dying cougar. <laughs> this is like a cat. That's Nigel Thornberry. It's like a dying big cat on the ground. I did find it. I'll, 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 show, I'll wait till after this. All right, beautiful. Red Shell's coming in hot for Kunio right here. It's looking like he's actually going to somehow outrun it. Not really sure how he did that, but... Oh, I was worried about that green shell. I was really worried about that green shell. I saw it bouncing right to the left of him. I saw the trajectory it was going at. It was, like, perfect. Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, he's still got two more laps. Not that big of a deal. Question is, is he going to do traditional team though circuit fashion here? Is he going to just going to chuck it? Actually, no, it's a red shell. He's not going to be able to do it this time. Yeah, but he did have a green shell before, and he didn't chuck it at his teammates. See, now Kuni he's got nothing because like that boo is going to come in. Kunio is someone it. who's got a lot of integrity with, with his racing. And I don't want to I don't want to put that on him uh, if that isn't the case. I just noticed the last time he didn't hit Geronimo, and it looks like, he, like, like he's right behind Geronimo right now. He can let this thing rip at any point, but he's just not doing it, dude. I, I respect it. I respect it so much. Nah, homie. Listen to the devil on your shoulder. It's a Beyblade. Let it rip. <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, he's still... Well, there it goes. So well. I'm not going to be able to use it for anything. Because now it's gone. Uh, meanwhile, there's Kramer. That would have been a great time to use it. Handsome Kramer. Um, and, okay, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. It ends up working out for Cunio. Uh, that blue shell uh -huh. hit just, in, just at the right time, taking out two, uh, both a red and a blue person. And there's the finish line right in sight. And there's Geronimo. Oh, my God, dude. <gasps> Woo! Dude. I don't like know what hit him. in the air in Mario Kart, apparently. Just... Yeah, I don't know what hit him, but uh, it doesn't matter because he ended up still finishing. And also, well, let me let me just see what this race looks like. Okay, okay Black Mom getting third, here fourth. All right, cool. So we're gonna be on our last race for the day. But with that, I just the, here's here's. The, oh wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I want to start from the beginning. Okay, okay. Don't make me look ugly. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so that's that is so weird dude let me just tell you any meme that comes from 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 the toby Maguire spider-man movies is pretty top tier you kind of can't go wrong there's a lot of them yeah like, i i can agree with no that. context Those toby are... Maguire on 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 twitter top tier top tier account uh -huh. photos of spider-man hold on i gotta I'll, I'll find some stuff there too. Photos of Spider-Man. Oh man, it's fun out here, man. Uh, I guess I'll hit you with a. Uh, oh, we're going to Cheese Land this time. Now it's got Kramer, Black Mamba, looking like an actual 3v4. That ain't too bad on 3v4 on the part of the. But it's actually the winning team by the averages here in uh, the Team Doe Circuit. Which I gotta say, this is the final race of uh, tonight's Team Doe Circuit and probably the final race of the Team Doe Circuit, actually, or at least the final yeah, broadcasted yeah. one on the MHG channel. It feels a little uh, feels a little surreal, and I, I know it's just the end of the side event here that we're replacing with yeah, another side event. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be replaced. Don't get too I, sad. I, Don't get too sad. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm good. That was, a, that was actually the uh, probably the longest I've ever cried. All right, but anyway, <laughs> good, good mushroom utilization much, yeah. to get to the uh, to get to the ramp right there. It, it's so weird, uh, like when you're going around like the specific part of Cheese Land, because if you only have one mushroom, it's like you really have to judge the situation based on the racers around you. It's like, do I want to use this one mushroom for the early ramp? so I can just, like, glide past that area where the chain jump is? Or do I want to use it for the ramp that's right next to the finish line? 
because like optimally you would think that you want to go to the one that's near the finish line but you might not always have time to do that because you might just not have to catch up to the racers that are in front of you first right so i'm actually pretty anxious to see what cunio does here oh yeah no he's just burning that green shell and actually going for the second one which might actually come to bite him in the ass no that red shell actually did not wind up coming for him actually it was just alerted behind him I guess he knew it wasn't that big of a risk anyway. It was the second lap, not like the home stretch or anything. So, and he gets another mushroom in the exact same spot, three times in a row. That was actually kind of trippy. Yeah, sometimes this game will throw you for a loop like that. It's just like, uh, yeah, between the items, which already seem so like not well distributed. <laughs> I, you know, this is something we've talked about how many times, you know. So it's just like, all right, nice. I got the video on deck for this after this, by the way. Oh, I'm paying no. attention now. I'm here. It's gonna eat up Geronimo right there, the blue shell. It's looking like we're done here. We're gonna close out on a W. Let's yes, go. Big dub. Big dub, and we were talking about that. If he gets three first places, what would he get two? So that's not too bad. Let's see where he finished out point wise and then we'll check the scores and then we're out of here for the day. I feel like this is like the last day of school and you're just like, wow, it's gonna be summer, but instead it's just like wow, it's gonna be battle uh, mode next week. Yeah, it's like, you know, when you just finished the, uh, you just finished the, uh, it's the last day of summer, and then, like, you're so hype, and then, like, two days later, your mom tells you she wants your head, you want, she wants your mind to be fresh for the upcoming school year, so she says you're gonna be tutored for the summer. That's exact. that's exactly right. That's exactly right. It'd be like that. Exactly that was me. Exactly right. That was me. I, I had to be tutored. I was trash at math when I was a kid. Uh, right, but anyway, so, yeah, that's yeah, looking that like that might be it. That's Cunio, it. our only streamer, has finished got. his chosen number of matches. So anyways, here's some, some out of context to you, McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> this is way better with sound, by the way. It's just, I'm, of course. I'm not, not going to go to the other. I, I got that vibe. It's literally just the sound of the bag hitting his face. Anyways, um, all right, let's go ahead and check out the scores. Um, because we can do that. There's still a half hour left, so keep in mind, what we're going to look at right now is going to be way different in the next half hour. And I do urge everybody who's interested in what this top eight is going to break out into uh to just go ahead and check out the twitters uh associated to this to this here fine glentendo circuit and that is both the master and gaming twitter and the glentendo twitter uh, you can see it on the right hand side of this graphic if you don't already know it uh, you could also just check out our discord the master and gaming discord that'll link you to pretty much everything you need to know but with that in mind uh let's go ahead and check out the scores so here we go. It looks very, very lopsided because it is, and I will remind everybody that we technically use the um, uh, the averages. We use the averages for the scores because, I, as you can see, using the total amount of, of points, it, you can't because if there's not an uneven amount of players per team, which there is, it's going to look way off just like it does. So let's. I'm going to go ahead and calculate the averages here. Uh, again, these are going to change by between now and 9 o'clock. But anyways, 156.50 currently is the average for red team. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, the average for blue team is uh, 164. Yeah, there we go. No surprise that the blue team started the breakaway. Uh, despite having their scores kind of destroyed by... Oh, never mind. There, there's Soup. He's back. He's playing. He caught a oh, couple races. Too. All right. He's in. But anyways, yeah, so this is what we got. Um, also... Oh, yeah. It's like freaking... Hold up. One, two, three, four, five. This is like two in the morning for Soup. Yeah, it is. He'd probably fall asleep as he's playing. I hadn't even yeah. thought about that. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. That's Team Do Circuit. So that's going to be... The last one of this format, as far as I know, unless, who knows, maybe we'll be back here next week with the same format if Glenn isn't ready in time, which is possible. But if that's the case, we'll be here, but I'll still have new overlays regardless. Uh, I'm going to have new overlays all set for Glentendo Circuit on Sunday. Um, all of you are very well familiar with that, or should be, and if you're not, this is what it's looking like. Uh, so we got new aesthetic coming for this. I'm pretty excited about. It's not all too different than what's being used now, just a lot nicer and more polished. Probably going to start adding webcams for both myself and Tunis, uh, and whoever else joins us on commentary at any point, whether it be Knight or anyone else. Uh, so that'll be exciting, um, and that's pretty much it. So with that, I'm going to leave you with Toby McGuire getting hit in the face just a few more times, just because... I just, I love this Twitter account. Out of context, Toby McGuire. Anyone interested? Anyways. I, right I, I, I want to thank you again for joining me, making these things a lot easier to, to cast. Otherwise, I'd just be out here on my own 
talking to myself and, and, and you know, probably probably not paying attention as well. You got it, my friend. I mean, this is why I'm here. I, I love getting to do what I do, so I definitely misspelled Toby McGuire horribly. I actually <laughs> I'll, don't know how to spell I'll that link, off the I'll top of my you. head. I'll link you. Thank, account. thank you. Really thank you. But hey, it's my pleasure, my friend. And it's been my pleasure to do this. We got this, uh, we've done this beautiful side event, Team Go Races, for quite some time now, but now it's time to gauge interest, see what else we got, because and see just what else this game has to offer and what to explore. I mean, honest to God, I had no idea that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had cops and robbers. That is super yeah. hype, as well as just all the classic battle modes as well. So I'm very anxious to see what we're going to be able to do with that. I think it's going to be just a no-holds-barred, you know, free-for-all, you know, just, just basically a food fight, which I mean, it's, who doesn't want to commentate a food fight? It'll be fun. I, I'm actually excited to see what the, what, the, what the battle mode holds. I think it'll be a lot more fun just to kind of play-by-play. But uh, yeah, and if Mario Kart's not your thing, and it is, let's face it, you're here with a few other viewers watching Mario Kart. Uh, we do have Smash, and this is every single Thursday. These are Eastern times, so tournaments usually kicks off at 7.30 Eastern, pretty promptly at that, uh, with the registration closing an hour beforehand. That's, that's at 6.30. So join us for this. We're also working on, uh, or I'm sort of working on some format changes for this as well, presentation-wise. Going to be adding some webcams or commentators. Quite potentially even as soon as this week, but we'll see if uh, all the prep hits or not. But, yep, uh, I'm Chris Lodian. Uh, that's Nintunist. Appreciate you guys for watching, and, yeah, I'll see you on Thursday for DNA, and otherwise I'll see you on Sunday for Glentendo. You guys have a very good night. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, Team Go. We hardly know you.